Hi beautiful people, welcome back to Kate Space and Pixie K Designs. We're carrying on with our books, our little vintage linen doily books. So if you have been joining in, we've been doing the napkin decoupage and some stenciling throughout our book. Here and there and everywhere. I was also I also purchased an embossing folder while I was away and I had some fun with the embossing folder. It's quite a vigorous embossing folder and it has, it, first time I put it through, it cut some of the papers. I've just glued those to some watercolor cardstock because I didn't want to waste them. But it does come up with a beautiful texture so it's just a matter of working out how much pressure. So this is where we're at. I think I've got my signatures in the order I want them. One thing I did do, and I don't know whether that was in the last, whether I did that off camera, I think I might have. I decided I wanted a little envelope, so I've aged this and embossed it, and that's going to hook around that second page and that first signature and be sewn in like that. And then I also did a little flip, which we will do now. So the flip, all it is, is a piece of cardstock whatever you've got this is watercolor cardstock I think it's quite a heavy cardstock but it's nice and robust and all I did was just rubbing my pencil marks off there I'm gonna round the corners let's do it on this one does this one have an envelope anywhere here we go so say I was going to do it in this book, I might join it here. So I quite like rounded corners, so I'd round those. It's going to go like that, and then I'm going to ink it with my funny old dried out ink pad. How is everybody today? It's Saturday. I have been into town to do post some more things off that I have sold on the D stash site, uh, New Zealand D stash site. So that was good. Got rid of those. And what else did I do? Oh, I put a one of my uh, a book that I finished. I've put that into the little shop in Napier. So that makes three in that shop at the moment. Though I think I might have sold the little pink baby book, so that's cool. Alright, so that's inked up. Then you just need to decide what paper you would like to decorate it. I just saw this sitting on my desk. I had a little bit of a tidy up and I had this, I've got this little, I don't know, it's just a little notepad sitting there thought it was quite cute so yeah I've used that on there um, what shall I use for this other book um, use florals I mean it's very uh, neutral apart from a few bits of color here and there so we could do some decoupage on it on one side if we felt so inclined add some brightness or we could use maybe some scrapbooking paper writing looks upside down I like the flowers that way but then the writing most of the writing is upside down if you do it that way so there's that we could do that um, or even we could do one of these we could actually do one of these book pages maybe we should do that we just have to cut it off there or we could just trim this a little bit let's do that Yes, 
then while I was out, just before I went out, my partner who's been working on trying to fix our ride-on mower for absolute ages finally got the right part and um, I'm going to need to take a little bit more off there finally got the right part and then something else is wrong with it and I just said half joking maybe it's time for a new one while well, I go out for a couple of hours and come back and guess what we've got a new ride on mower so <laughs> that's good I think he I mean I do mow the lawns he doesn't do them all the time sometimes I do them but it is nice to have tools that work properly so he's just zapped around in the ride on mower oh I like oh I quite like that but then I've got the blue there I think that's okay though anyway so that's exciting having a new toy I'm sure I'll get my turn on it eventually we've got plenty of lawns go down to the beach so right I'm going to glue that on might just use a glue stick I think and it mows the lawns it's amazing what a difference it makes to how nice the lawns look because actually I was using that the hand mower not that long ago and um, we've got a uh, because we live on a stony beach for some reason the stones I don't know it just seems like stones have legs and they move and or they come up out of the ground and the mower hits that probably could have gone up a little bit more but anyway that's okay the mower hits them and I think it just dulls the blade quite majorly so um but we need a new blade on the hand mower as well oh it's not going there anyway so it's going on here maybe it's going on there I don't know I haven't decided I better decide so and you flip it over what would you like on the other side I don't want it there Unless we swap. Um, anyway. And then. Whatever you would like on the other side of it. Um, what have I done on this one? Oh the same. So it's like space to write on. So we could just get a scrap of something. Let's see what scraps I've got. I've got heaps. I'm not short of scraps. Got some really pretty papers I cut up. Like this one. make it quite robust because that's quite stiff cardstock maybe we'd be better off with paper hmm might just put some paper on the back some of my nice got lots of tea stain paper in here that could be used let's do that Hmm, not quite long enough. I don't think it matters though. I don't really want... Nope, I don't want that. What have we got? So much paper and still I can't choose. Maybe I'll use this music paper. That'll work, let's do that. Oh, 
I'm just going to mark where I need to cut. purchase at all and you and you end up really liking it so that's gonna go that way so these are the just round these corners hope everybody's well enjoying their day whatever day it is when this goes up it's Saturday for me like I said so I'm off to work tomorrow but one of the things of working in the shop that I work at at the moment, things are very quiet in town, especially on a Sunday. So I actually have decided that rather than just stand around doing nothing, I take my laptop in and I edit. <laughs> I do my editing videos just makes me feel like at least I'm doing something when there's no one in the store. But yeah, it's very quiet. It certainly wasn't that quiet when I started working there. It's really changed and I find it quite challenging. I'm not going to lie. It's just quite mind-numbingly boring. So anyway, I only work there part-time, thank goodness. I couldn't be there every day, but Sundays I do the whole day on my own, and I think that's part of it too. I'm not actually working with anybody. Well, that, I got that pretty mucky, didn't I? Um, yeah, so if there's not many people coming in the store, and also I'm not actually working with someone, it can be quite, quite lonely and, yeah, quite boring. Right, and then we just need some fabric to attach it to whatever in the book you're going to attach it to. So maybe if you're going to do it, pop it on here. I did it so that... Ah, I know what I did. I did it so the fabric was on the inside and I actually put the paper over the top, but that's okay. So let's just take this, for example, let's take this out decide how much fabric you want I think that's a little too much for this flip it's not going to really take doesn't it's not going to take much stress that we can do with a little bit less than that so I'm just going to rip a little strip off and then I'm going to just measure it there that way Cut there You can do this with all sorts of flips and pages that you might want to put in even after the fact you might have already made your journal and you think oh this tag's cool but i don't really want to put it in a pocket so you can use a fabric hinge to to attach it if you like that look i mean it's kind of a i guess it's a little bit of a messy look i'm just using some pva just going to use my finger to run it down like that. It's probably a little bit much. Pop the fabric on there. And then we're going to just pop it on like that. So on this side, I'm just going to put the glue on the fabric, I think. see what I'm doing and just press it down like that and there you have it just a little flip if you want a little flip 
and they haven't really aged this envelope up very much so I might do a little bit of aging on that but anyway I think that was in here just adds a little bit of interest so you've got this that flips out like that and you can write on it and then also this envelope flips out like that so it's just tucked around one of the pages in the signature so there we go those are the things I think I've done so yeah I did the embossing on the envelope which I really like the embossing folder only came to there so there's that smooth bit so I'm very likely indeed I think to just grab some lace and I'm probably going to put that like that at some point but not now mm, should I be doing that before I put the I think I'm at the point where I want to sew these in um, yeah I think so I guess if you want to actually sew any lace onto your pages now's the time to do it I'm not sure that I'm going to do that had I done this so the other thing was there's type on the other side of that so I put some lined paper and some decoupage on there what else have I done I don't think much else That's a sticker on there. Uh, what else have I done? Oh yeah, this glassine bag. I've been umming and ahhing about the whole time. So I've, put, I've added some more ink to it. Um, and I have grunged up this side and I've cut the end off so there's a pocket on this side as well I've done some as you can see some more textured paste and I might actually go about inking some of that up as well so yeah that's that bag the jury's still out on that but I'm leaving it in I'm gonna leave it in so yeah I haven't really done much else so now it's a matter of sewing it and this was the one that we were going to sew that I we that I was going to sew straight through and that is not something that I have done much of so this might be a bit of a joke but the idea I now have to think about is what am I doing on the inside of this cover what am I going to do on the inside of this cover that's a good question Am I going to put some fabric in here? And if so, do I need to do it now to cover this? I'm not sure. I don't really know, <laughs> to be fair. I suppose it doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. I almost like this, this look. And if I don't, I can always change it by covering it up afterwards, can't I? Yep, so... I think now is the time to look at sewing in our signatures. What do we need for that? Um, we need a piece, well, I'm gonna make a piece of paper that's gonna be my guide to punch my holes in here. And also a piece of paper that's going to be my guide for punching my holes through my pages. Some thread and a needle. And so I'm going to collect all those things up and then I will be back. Okay, hi. Um, um. <laughs> As you know, maths is not my strong point, so I've done this off camera. And you can see I made a mistake. So, uh, yeah, it's just binding my books, sewing in my signatures is not something I find easy or that just goes well anyway so what I do is this I I measure the inside of my spine because I want my signatures to sit inside it so although this is what we would probably call a one inch spine if from the outside on the inside it's a little bit less than that so then I cut myself a little piece of paper that's going to be my guide for punching my holes so that's the width of the inside part of the spine it sits in there 
and then I work out where my signatures are going to sit across this way and then I space where I'm going to sew from hole to hole and I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch because it's a little book and uh, I'm going to sew each signature in individually it's not the binding I normally do I have done Nick the booksmith's adventures and booksmithing course and I still use mostly use that system it's a great course uh, she has some great courses but for these little books I'm doing a three hole pamphlet and then we'll have some little strings that we can maybe tie some little dangly things to and stuff like that so it's quite cool so the first thing I do is I make sure I know where the top is I will have another piece of paper that I will use that will be for punching the holes in my signatures but initially I'm just going to do the holes in here so I've got the pokey tool and I'm going to use this as my guide and I'm going to place it there and I'm going to punch my holes I do not like this part it just oh, so much commitment involved anyway so that's what I'm going to do so punch through each of these points so that's one two three four five There we have our holes. <gasps> Can't really see them on this side. We can there and there. But anyway, we'll have to find those. Now we need this because I'm going to get another piece of paper. And this needs to be pretty much the length of what your tallest signature I suppose was because these pages are all different I just find the tallest one which I think might be that one there I don't know why that one's so much taller than all the rest but anyway and just measure it there I'll cut that off might not be the way you've seen it done and you might have your own way uh, some people only like to put three maybe three signatures in here uh, but I like mine a little bit closer together I don't like huge gaps some people like the wider gaps so I'm going to fold this and I'm going to line it up against my guide and I'm going to write here top Hi, I'm back. Um, I think we'd got this far doing our little template and stabbing our, excuse me, stabbing our thing here. Yeah. So we've done that and I've made a, another template with marks where I'm going to stab the holes in my signatures sew into there so I've got my first signature here and I'm going to get a couple of clips to try and secure the pages don't have to do this but I am notorious for getting things wrong and this part of the process so all my pages are pretty much nice and tucked into one another get my little template thingy my bob and pop it in now the thing is this is the same height as the tallest pages so I'm just going to oh, I can't even see them. I'm just gonna put it evenly like that get my pokey tool and poke some holes where those 
mark there. Then I'm going to get my thread. Hmm. Got a bit of a mess going on on my desk. <laughs> my thread and my needles. And just need two twice the length should be more than enough. And then needle. Where's my needle? Oh, I've got this sort of blunt needle. We've got our holes in our signature here. We line it up with the front holes here. So go all the way through. And then back. So I've gone up to the top hole. down to the bottom one and then you come jeez and then you come back in through that center one try not to catch your thread Fun times with the old fabric covered books. <laughs> this is why I do a hidden spine normally because I just find this so difficult. There we go, I got it. There we go, and back through there. Come up on the other side. And then we knot it in here. And that's the first one in. Hopefully they're all up the right way. Yes, they are. So we're going to do that again.
and there's our stitching. So I actually don't mind that. I don't think it's too bad. I might just leave it like that. And then, yeah, we open it up. There's all our signatures inside. So now we just need to decide what we're going to do with all these strings, but that'll be part of decorating it. This one here is obviously going to, for me, I think it'll be cut short. Because I've left that one, that one there too short, but that's okay. There we go. It's our little flip. There, done. Nice and secure in there and looking not too bad from this way. But again, obviously some of them are higher. Sorry, some of them are higher than others because that's how the papers are. And I didn't want to. Yeah, but they're still, whoops. There's still some gap at the bottom here and some gap at the top. So there we are. There's one little book sewn in. We've done quite a lot of work on this little thing and probably a few more things to do. And uh, we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.